learning more tonight about a bizarre car crash in Dutchess County. A tractor trailer with a very big load crashing into a business with an apartment upstairs. A woman sleeping in bed and ending up somehow on top of, top of the truck that crashed right into her home. Iowa News reporter Marcus Solis with some amazing stories and video of what happened. He's live in Hyde Park for us. Marcus. And Bill Jr.'s lounge had been here since 1981, a neighborhood fixture sometimes referred to as the Cheers of Poughkeepsie. Now, there were three people inside. They escaped serious injury, though the driver of that truck was killed. After 40 plus years, we never thought this is how we would go out, so I don't think it's the end. I hope it's not the end, at least. Family members salvaged what they could today from Junior's Lounge, a Dutchess County fixture now reduced to a pile of rubble after a freak accident. It's close to home and it was friendly and just a real nice place. It happened around 1030 yesterday morning. An out of control, fully loaded dump trailer slammed into the establishment on Saul Point Turnpike, smashing through the ground floor bar and restaurant. The owner of Junior's was inside, but walked out just 12 seconds before impact. Lou Rossi actually heard the tractor trailer crash into other vehicles as it approached. His daughters are glad he's alive. He was on the other side of the building, luckily, and was able to get out. Um, but where he was sitting, his paperwork was found under the wheel of the truck when the truck was was taken out. Also spared two occupants in apartments upstairs. The impact sent one woman who was asleep flying. She and her mattress actually landed on top of the truck. She suffered minor injuries. She was literally directly on top of where the truck was. Yeah, it's her cat and her both survived. It's crazy. The driver of the truck was killed. Police say 33 year old Craig Allen Dixon of Pauline was seen driving erratically after first getting into a crash two and a half miles away. It's unclear if he suffered a medical episode. My heart goes out to the family of the driver and to everybody here that's been affected and I hope this isn't the last of juniors. And the owner of juniors tells me he hopes to either rebuild here or reopen in another location.